Hi, in this video, we are going to use Azure Key Vaults in Azure Pipelines. Okay. Now I have already given introduction on what Azure Key Vault exactly is in my previous video, but uh, I'll just uh, tell it once again here. Azure Key Vault is like a password manager for uh, development things, right? So whenever you create one application, you will have connection strings, admin passwords and all kind of things. You might be having some kind of certificates. So all those things you have to store somewhere, right? And Azure Key Vault is used just for that. So in this video, we will be creating one Azure Key Vault in that we will have one password and we will try to access that password in pipelines. Okay, uh, so first uh, let's create a uh, Key Vault. I'll create a new resource group. Okay, I'll create a new resource group and just put a random name over here. This name has to be unique. So, and all the other options, I'll just let them be as it is and I'll click on review and create. It will take just few moments to get this key vault created. Okay, so the key vault is created right now. I'll open this key vault and I'll go to the secret section and here I'll create one very uh, secret password. I'll call this as production DB password. Okay, and I'll put one super secret uh, password. All right, I'll call it as admin at the rate one two three four five, and I will create it. Once this is created, so it is created now. Right, I want to access this password in the pipeline so that uh, we can uh, replace this password in our app setting or config files. But right now here we will try to keep it very very simple. I will make a new pipeline and we will use the classic editor for creating the pipeline. Uh, let's keep all this as it is. I'll keep an empty job and uh, let's give it a name called as key evolve practice okay and in this uh, I'll let, let's add a there is a task called as key vault azure key vault we just have to add that in this we will uh, choose our azure subscription so this is the subscription and the key vault should be present over here right now. If it is not, I can just uh, copy this and I can paste it here and I can save this. One more thing. Uh, so this will fetch all the key vaults. Uh, I forgot to explain that secrets filter means if I put star, then all the passwords or secret that is listed over here, all will come in the pipeline. But if I just, for example, if I just put the name production DB password, then only this password will be fetched. Uh, for the time being, let's keep it as uh, all. And now I'll put one more task called as CMD. Sorry. What I will try to do is I will try to echo the password in the console to echo i'll just have to put the command and this name in uh, round brackets and we can save this and run it into queue now this will fail because the service principle does not have or the pipeline connection does not have access to the key vaults or kind of does not have permission to the key vault. So let's wait for that error message to show up. As you can see here, we got this error message. It says see, get secrets failed because this user so and so does not have permission to do secret list for this key vault of location in East US. Okay. For this, what you have to do is you have to come to key vault go into the access policy 
and in access policy you have to create one uh, uh, permission right so uh, i'll select all these options i'll do next next and in from the list i have to find out who needs the permission right because from this we don't exactly know what is happening here so we have to figure out who needs the permission right so what we know is uh, this connection string is being used so if we come here this connection string right this connection string is being used just click on uh, manage it will open this so this is the connection that is being used click on manage service principle and uh, just copy this search for this exact uh, thing here and uh, do next it will take few moments to uh, get this added over here and you can see now it has permission now just have to go here and queue it again and this time hopefully uh, we will be able to access password that is present in key vault so let's wait it to run as you can see uh, it successfully got connected it found that there was one secret and it has downloaded this uh, secret and then we had this task where we had asked him to display the password so it is actually displaying the password but it is just to, just showing three stars because it is a private thing right it is it has to be secure so microsoft has taken steps so that the secrets present in the key vault is not shown anywhere so it takes uh, all the steps necessary but let's say uh, anyhow i want to see what is in the password right so what i will do i will just add few more steps what i will do is i will uh, i will try to get this output into a text file so i will say password.txt right or better i should say db password.txt so this file will go into a text file and what we can do is we can we can try to publish this file to uh, artifact so i'll choose this and here i can just ask it to copy this file and let's let's copy the files to this folder so this is an inbuilt folder called as artifact staging directory that we will be using and on top of this let's take build artifacts so what we what this will do is it will take whatever there is present in this folder and it will uh, publish this folder to the artifact section now let's save and queue this So as usual all the steps should run and it will copy the files here and it will publish to the drop uh, I mean to the artifact so let's wait for a few seconds so here it downloaded the file now it will print it will not print actually here and it has copied one file that file is called dbpassword.txt and it has uploaded this file in the uh, drop section to find this drop come here in the artifact 
let's expand and you can download this file and if you download and open what you will see is the actual password that was uh, there in this secret right so for security purpose they don't allow showing it on the console but it can be used like this so that is how you uh, integrate key vault into azure devops pipeline this was a basic very basic example and very basic scenario i tried to do it using the ui and did not use any commands or powershell script anywhere uh, i just used this one line for uh, for this uh, which is fine so i hope now you know how to use azure key vault in azure pipeline if you have any queries or any doubts please do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video